Hello everybody, welcome back to Strokovich Plays Yakuza 4. Last time I ended it very abruptly in the middle of a fight because I wasn't really paying attention. I was just having a lot of fun playing and talking to you guys. And I looked over and I had been playing for 36 minutes. So, I wanted to get it down. Like, I, I don't want the... The times of these videos to really go past 30 minutes but you know sometimes you're not really paying attention like I said I was having a good time talking to you guys and didn't really notice that I had gone six minutes over so I ended it very abruptly and just started it up almost instantly afterwards so you guys aren't missing anything I guess that's proof right there that I haven't I didn't do anything um, off screen in between these two episodes the fact that I ended it in the middle of a fight last episode, and then the beginning of this fight, or the beginning of this episode, is literally the same fight. So, oh, uh, an adult entertainment shop on Holly Boulevard West. I'm not really sure why it was spazzing out like that. I, I don't think it's supposed to. To Holly Boulevard. Okay, so this is to Holly Boulevard. That's all right. Well, I'm already here, so might as well. Alright, so let's, let's go uh, back to what I was saying before. There's a lot of games that I haven't beaten from my... You know, from my collection that I would like to uh, beat one day, you know. And I was, I was naming off a few, like the Adventure Time, uh, Explore This Dungeon because I don't know. I haven't beaten Bioshock Infinite yet. I own it uh, because of the the PlayStation Plus um, free games, but I've never beaten it. I've I've gotten a little into it, like I played a little bit of it, but I never I never completed it. I don't know. I just didn't really find myself pulled in as much as I did with Bioshock 1 and 2, which I have, and I've beaten both of those. Uh, Call of Duty World of War, I have beaten that, the the story mode. Um, the, the Riddick game, uh, I haven't beaten that. Well, I mean, I beat the original one originally, but this is the, like, the revamped version where it has both games in it, like Escape from Butcher Bay and the, the second one that they did, and then, um, it's kind of like updated and whatnot. I played the original one on the original Xbox, I believe. Um, like the X, the original Xbox, not like Xbox One uh, or the Xbox 360. And it's it's phenomenal. But I, w I would like to be able, I would like to finish that because I always loved Riddick. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I got Civilization uh, Revolution, it looks like it's called. It's, um... It's the PS3 version of Civilization 4, I think, or maybe 5, I don't know. Alright, where, where is this? Where is she? Get out of my way. Fuck. Should be right here. Oh. It's pretty fun, but there's not really, like, a story mode. I might, you know, I might one day play a little bit of it. I actually forgot that I, that I own that game, because I, I, I didn't actually buy it. Um, what happened was a long time ago, um, I don't remember how long, like couple, couple months, maybe even like half a year to a year, uh, my brother was really into civilization and wanted to play with us like online. So, um, we went to the store or whatever and we were looking at games and stuff and my dad, he bought... Um, he bought two copies for some, st some reason. I don't know why. Like he, I, I guess so that I could play with them. Um, and then, you know, we got home, we all took our TVs and PS3s out into the living room and we were, we were, we sat down to play, but then we found out that we couldn't because they ran off of that one, um, online thing that closed down around that time. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Like, a bunch of games that originally had online features no longer did because that company was the one that was 
basically managing it all, and it went, it, it closed down, and so a lot of games stopped having online features because of that, and uh, Civilization Revolutions was Re- Revolution was one of them, so we couldn't play, and that was really annoying. Then months later, like not just like a month ago, um, my dad was going through his games and he saw that he had two of those and he's like, wait, why do I have two of these? You know, and so I explained it to him and then he's like, oh well, I don't need two and he just handed me the other one. He's like, here, have it. So I have the game now. Um, I I haven't actually played it since we originally like they they originally picked them up, but it's it's pretty decent. Then I got Dead Island. Uh, that was a good game. I like that. It was, it was pretty interesting. The, it made me a little sick sometimes, like the motion of the camera and stuff. Um, kind of like how, uh, Duke Nukem Forever did. And, um, I'm Saki on Pink Street. So I wasn't able to actually enjoy it too much. I did beat it, though. I, I played it all the way to the end, and I beat it, and it's it's pretty awesome. Dying Light's way better, um, but, you know, for for an original, like, the, the beginning of this franchise, it's not too bad. Dead Rising 2. It's funny, because I actually have Dead Rising 2, and then I have Dead Rising um, 2 off the record. And then I have another Dead Rising 2 digital version. And the reason for that is I I wanted to play Dead Rising 2 with my brother. But the only way we could was um, was for me to give let him use my physical copy and then have a digital copy. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm talking about Borderlands. Huh. Alright, what happened to my Borderlands game? I don't know, just forget that. I I have no idea what I'm talking about. (laughs) Alright, so it looks like this uh, person is going to help me find her. Because that's what I'm looking for, you know what I mean? And let me let me just give you two guesses about what's about to happen. If you said either chase sequence or I'm going to get something to eat after this episode because I'm freaking starving, then you win. If you said anything else, then I don't I don't know why. It's it's completely wrong. Uh, Deuce, Deuce X, um, I have that game, the PS3 one, I don't remember what it's called, what, like the, the Undertitle, or whatever it's called. And, uh, I think it's like Cuban Revolution or something. Anyway, I have that, and I have yet to beat it, actually. Man, this... This Saki is freaking fast. Uh, but yeah, I have yet to beat it. I got pretty far into it. But like every game, like I was saying before... Um... I, uh... I wanted to do everything, you know, I wanted to do all the, the side missions, all of the, you know, I wanted to get maxed level and all that, so I got to the point where I was just burnt out, you know, I played it for way too long and I didn't get far enough to keep my interest and now it's been so long since I've played it that I don't really remember exactly what the storyline was about, so... So yeah, that's the main reason why I haven't beaten it. Disgaea 3. If you had talked to me like three months ago, that would be a game that I have yet to finish. But 
I don't know, it was more than three months ago. Maybe like five months ago. Wow, it's been a long time. Anyway, for the longest time, I owned that game and never beat it. I got far. I was literally at the last um, like section, but I never beat it because I... Uh, I couldn't, my people just weren't good enough. Uh, so I started grinding, and when I have to grind in a video game, I hate it. Um, and I and I tend to have to do that in a lot of RPGs because I suck at uh, strategically winning, <laughs> you know, over just being a high enough level. Um, and a lot of these games you can actually win at a lower level than I had to be if you were just good enough but I'm not so so for the longest time I just owned this game and every like month like every, like two like maybe two times a month or maybe like once a month I would get on and play and just grind my levels um, for quite a while and eventually one day I'm like you know what I'm sick of this I'm just gonna go and I, I went and I kept failing, but eventually I was able to beat it. And I was so happy because I actually beat Disgaea 2 many, 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 many times. Like, like three or four. It was, it was crazy. It was my first introduction to the Disgaea games, and I thought it was amazing. So, I was happy to be able to play Disgaea 3 and beat it, um... RPGs are actually the games that I have the lowest completion rating on because of how long they take and the grinding. Dishonored, I beat that. Dragon's Dogma, I have yet to beat that. Alright, let's go get this chick's passport back. She, she wants to go home and people aren't letting her. So fuck them, we're about to kill them. But like I was saying, uh, Dragon's Dogma, amazing game. If you guys get, if you guys can pick it up, play it. It has some of the best fighting mechanics, like ever. Just random battles feel better than freaking like any battle in all of Skyrim. You know, like it's it's so good. Those chicks have horns. What are oh they're the lights. I thought they were kind of like hooks, you know, like the hooks that you would put your coat on or whatever. And it didn't really make sense to me why they would be there. But I guess it makes more sense that, you know, they were lights. So we're going to the docks, and the only way to get to the docks is through the taxi. So let's, let's go do that. We got Eternal Sonata. Now that is like one of the first RPGs that I've ever completed. The first RPG I ever completed was what? Um, not Wild Arms. Uh, Eternal Arms or whatever it's called. Um, it's it's not a great RPG, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the mechanics behind it. Like, there, you level up. Like you get stronger through like money. I think like that's the best way for you to get stronger. And so, and, and there was this exploitation with the um, casino, where if you were to go, if you were to save it, go in there, um, then put like all of the money you had on either red or black, you know, on the roulette table or whatever it's called, and then you would win, or, you know, or lose, obviously, but if you... I can't remember. what was it like double your money I think and then you would just if you'd win you'd go back out and save it if you'd lose you'd reload your reload your save and then that's the golf course by the way the one that I was talking about in a in a much earlier episode so anyway so you would just do that and you would just keep doing that until you got a lot of money and then you were able to make your guys a lot stronger and so that was the first RPG I've ever really completed that I can remember anyway and all right, or no, that's the taxi guy there. Right here, it's the guys I need to talk to. Uh, what is that? Uh, 
Hmm. What do I got? Three points here. Ugh. Um. Decrease the difficulty. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Mostly because if they're low enough health, right? Um. It, it'll do that one over the head, the head one. So, a lot of the times I'm going for like the head heat move, and it pulls off the arresting one, and I'm not ready for it, you know. But anyway, yeah, Eternal Sonata. That that is a game that I actually completed, and it is amazing. Now, there's the reason why I was able to complete that game at all was because I didn't have to grind. And there's one reason for that. There's this one character called... I guess spoilers if you don't want to know... Like the name of a character that joins you later in the game. Um, the character's name is Viola. I think. And she uses a, a bow and arrow. Now, something they did... Uh, and my theory is... The reason they did this... Was because... They felt like... They had to even it, even it out, right? So, they make it so you have to manually aim the bow and arrow. And, and I think to, to even that out, they, they made it so that if she does massive damage, like massive damage, um, because I think they felt like, oh hey, we make them have to to aim themselves so it takes away from the time that they have on their turn so let's just give them massive damage because because they probably felt like that was a that was a good enough um you know give and take but the problem with that is it is kind of easy to aim you know and what's better is um the farther you away farther you are away from the person that you're trying to hit, the more damage you do. So the best strategy for her was to literally just move her as far away as possible and spend like the first turn like aiming a little bit and then getting a bunch of shots off. But then you, you would end up killing like almost everything on the first turn because of how much damage she actually did. And it was crazy. So I actually relied on her for the almost the entire match. Our entire game. Until I got to this one point. And for those of you who probably know what I'm talking about without me even having to say anything. It involves a pirate ship. <laughs> oh man, that was that was freaking terrible. That, that took me forever to try to get through. I didn't know what to do how to beat it and then finally I looked up like a guide and still had trouble but I was able to beat it but then it was like smooth sailing for the rest of the game it, it's a very well put game um, characters are pretty awesome story is interesting and the fighting mechanics are really great I'd really re recommend it to anybody who's a who's a fan of RPGs in general um, it's more of a, it's like a turn-based action RPG, um, kind of like, uh, Tales of game, T Tales of Symphonia, I think, is the one that I have. I, I actually own, like, three Tales of games, because I bought them while they were on, uh, sale, but the, um, I played Tales of Symphonia for a little while and freaking loved it by the way. Like don't don't get me wrong, I, I loved it, but I kinda got burned out on it for a little bit. Um Mostly because while I'm playing a game, I want to be able to watch something else. But with the Tales of games, I was I was very enthralled by the story and like drawn in. So that's all I could do, but I wasn't drawn in and enthralled enough to hold my complete attention the entire time. So, 
but you know, as most RPGs do, because you spend a lot of time running from one place to the next, or, um, you know, grinding. So I'd want to watch something, but the problem is, I'd find myself constantly, like, pausing the thing that I was watching, because, you know, they would be talking, um, sometimes, and I didn't want to miss it. So it kind of, it kind of drained me, and I didn't really want to continue playing, so I, I took a break from that, and it was a long time ago, so it's, it might be a little while before I, I start that up and try to finish it, but it's an amazing game, it really is, it, I understand why people like the Tales of series so much. Um, then I got Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. Now, I don't want to promise anything, but I think I might be doing a Let's Play of that. For a couple reasons. One, there are a bit of trophies that I still need to get. Um... Because when I originally played Fallout 3, it was on the Xbox 360, I think. And so, either that or it was it was on someone else's name on PlayStation. But I don't think it was that. I think it was because I was playing on Xbox 360. So, when I, I played a lot of it, you know, beat it, did a whole bunch of stuff... I never got any of the trophies for it because it was on the Xbox 360, obviously. So, once I switched over to Sony, you know, for good, and, you know, got, and started playing Fallout 3 on my, on it, I realized I didn't have any of the trophies for any of the things I did. Um, but the problem is I played it so much that every time I'd start it up, I'd get bored, you know, because it was like, oh, I remember this, I remember ex I remember this exactly, and I've literally done every path of this, like, three times, you know, so, so it got a little annoying. Well, uh, I was, I was at, a uh, GameStop with my dad one day, I think, and we were just chilling out, and... And he was like, hey, you know, why don't you uh, pick out a game or whatever? So I was like, oh, cool, you know? And so I was looking through, and I couldn't really... Um, I couldn't really uh, think about what I wanted, you know? Because I didn't really want to spend too much money. And and so I grabbed one, but then I was like, oh, man. I, and my daddy's like, yeah, you know, like, whoa. Uh, you know, I got what I want, like, dude. Like, well, what are you doing, you know? And it's like, why do you take so long? Uh, man, because I'm having a really hard time choosing between these two games. It was like Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition and... Huh. I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was another game. I can't remember what it was, though. Um... But anyway, I was like, it was that and another game. I was like, I can't really decide which one I want to, which one I want to buy, you know? Like, I really want, I, I really want to be able to play the Fallout new, um, 3's DLCs because I haven't played any of them except for that, um, that one where you, you go to that, like, hillbilly place, the Point Lookout or whatever it's called. And I'd like to be able to experience the other ones. And so it was like, oh, well, you know, just, you know, just pick one, you know, and I'll get you the other one. And I was like, oh, really? That's, oh, thanks. You know, that's so cool. So I, so I grabbed them and I was playing, uh, and I was planning on playing it, but then I started getting into this uh, Let's Play stuff and I was thinking about maybe doing a let's play of fallout 3 but it, it's not confirmed like i don't even know yet so don't don't be getting all excited for it so it looks like shit's going down at homeland i know i technically didn't do like any story in these two episodes um Huh? 
I actually don't remember that. Oh my god, guys, just let me walk. I just want to walk. Uh, you listening to your radio? Get your ass over. Okay. Man, you don't gotta be rude. So anyway, I haven't, you know, I, I know I didn't do any story in here, but like I said, if there was any person that I wanted um, to be max level, or at least high level, it was Tanamora. Because of later on, this seems like a, like a thing. Oh, this might be a side quest, oops. Sorry guys. I didn't mean to start one. So anyway, um, so it's not confirmed, you know, it's, so don't get your hopes up too high, but, well, you know, it's definitely a possibility. Then, uh, then I got Fear 1 and 2. I'd always wanted to play those because I heard that they were pretty scary, and I wanted to try them out, so I tried playing Fear 1 for a little bit. And oh my god, man, the controls are wonky. I'll give it uh, like really, really wonky. So it was kind of hard to. Oh, jeez. So it was kind of hard to get into that, but I, I kind of want to force myself to get through that so that I could play Fear Two. I got the Godfather right next to that, which, if you guys don't know, it's an okay game, but the Godfather 2 is an amazing game, and you guys should get it. Is there a Godfather 3, or is that the one that's coming out? Anyway, I remember playing Godfather 2, and I was like, wow, this is, this is amazing. W was that a sub-story, or was that just a... No, that was just a... Huh. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway. Uh, Godfather 2 is awesome. It, you, you know it was a game that's really fun that um, not a lot of people really know about, I don't think. And I don't know why. But it's called Scarface. It was amazing. It was, it was so much fun. And for those of you who are like, oh, I don't want to just play a game that follows the, the story, blah, 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 blah. But, um, it doesn't. It actually takes place after the story of the movie. So, you should play it. It's freaking awesome. Anyway, uh, I was going to go use the save point there, but I didn't want to... Oh, Makabol. Okay, Makabol is the... The bowling alley, not the batting range. Right, 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 right. Alright, so... I have been paying attention to the time. <laughs> and we are nearing the time that we are to do. So, I know this is probably going to be disappointing for you guys, but... Next episode, we are going to be doing more side missions. I am sorry, but... Like I've said... If any of these characters need to be a higher level for the end, it's Tanamora for multiple reasons. So, thank you for coming. I hope you had a great time. I know I was kind of just talking about nonsense the entire time. I really wasn't um, wasn't really focused too much on the game, and you know, I apologize for that, but but with these side missions, you know, there really isn't too much for me to for me to focus on. It's not really part of the main story, and a lot of them aren't I mean, they're not uninteresting. I've just played them all before, so I know what they're about. And, you know, and so there's nothing really exciting, you know. So, like I said, next time we'll be doing some more side missions. We got we got two going on here. Um, clues. There, 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 was a, there was a murder and then stolen funds. Well, we got to go back to the homeland, which I will do. Which is funny because I actually. Hmm. Um, Alright, so, uh. Thank you for coming. I still have yet to come up with a, an outro that I'm happy about, but, you know, I'm working on it, so. 
you know, maybe one day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content and want to see more. Have a great day.